Over the weekend, we received mountain of emails from clients and people that just want to know why they are getting an email about their emails not being authenticated. So in this video, I'm going to explain everything. Let's begin. So first of all, this is the email that most people received. We also received the same email. Okay, so that means that probably you will have some kind of a problem in your email deliverability. And right now it's September 17th. And up to September 30th, uh, you can fix it. After that, there will be a problem, which I will uh, explain later on in the video. So that's the email that you probably received. Now, this is how it looks like. You will see in the email settings, which I will show you as well where to find it. You will see in the email settings that you will have three categories. First category will be emails that you will have in your system that they are not authenticated. And those will be on the top and you are required to authenticate them if you want to send emails from those domains. And I will explain that as well. Second of all, you have some domains that are right now pending authentication. It might be partially authenticated or you started the authentication process and they will be on this area. And on the bottom, you will have all the ones that are fully authenticated. And that's what needs to be done for all the emails that you want to send emails from. And it will look like that. You will have those two check marks. The emails that you see here, not all of them I'm sending emails from. For example, amazingbusinessresort.ca will be my internal email that I'm sending emails to my team members. But those are not emails that are being sent from the CRM to my clients. So I do not need to authenticate them because there is no use for me to authenticate them. This is why it's not authenticated. Here I will have another domain that is internal that also here I'm not sending emails from the CRM to anyone. So I'm okay that they will not be authenticated. The rapid business training, it's not really my domain. I just added it with Photoshop to show you how it looks like. But let's say that I do need to, uh, to send emails from this domain to my clients. I will need to authenticate it. And lastly will be amazingbusinessworld.com. That's the only domain that I'm sending emails to my clients from and that's supposed to be authenticated. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Next, you will have public domains. Now, public domain will, will be lior at gmail.com, lior at hotmail.com, lior at yahoo.com. All those domains that are public, they cannot be authenticated because you cannot say that you are Yahoo or you are Gmail. So those domains cannot be authenticated. Because they cannot be authenticated, people will receive those emails and it will go to spam. In that case, Zoe are going to help you. So people see it as a problem, but actually they're helping you. They will have it as an internal domain. So your email, if it's leor at gmail.com, it will become leor at Zoe CRM, whatever. And then it will not go to spam, but it will go to the public promotional folders or something like that. So the idea is that you will not have your Gmail, your Yahoo, all those. Those are also not professional. You do need to have a proper domain. So take action on that. Next, you have the private domain. So let's say it's Lior at Amazing Business Results. If this domain is not authenticated, Zo automatically will replace your emails to something like that. So it will be Lior at Amazing Business Results. If it's not authenticated, it will be Lior at Zo CRM, whatever number.com. So also here, if it's not authenticated, your emails will go to spam. And if Zo will replace it to something like that, then it will be sent, but not properly as well. Instead of the spam folder, it will go probably to the promotional folder, but at least you're not losing your emails completely. If you're going to authenticate, you will have good email deliverability and I have hundreds of emails about this topic. I don't even know how much, how many times I, I spoke about this issue in the past, but now you need to do it. It's, it's, it's too late not to do it. If you're not going to do it, you will have crappy email deliverability. 
Now, some people will say that they do not have a way to authenticate their domain because they don't have access to the DNS. The DNS for the people that don't understand what it means, the DNS is the, the place that controls what your domain is doing on the email level, web level, any level. If you don't have access and your webmaster will have access and someone else is controlling your domain, you're in trouble because someone else controls your company. You must have control on your DNS. So the problem of not having control on the DNS is not about the email deliverability. It's about that, that the person that controls your DNS can now forward all your web traffic somewhere else to your competitor. It can, with a click of a button, it can just terminate your emails of the entire company and you have nothing to do about it. So the DNS controls your business. And that's what people are missing. Sometimes we will have clients they will say, oh, I can't authenticate because I don't have access to my DNS. Someone that, you know, I met once have the domain. If this person have your domain, he owns your company. And we also saw some webmasters that work at companies and they got into argument with their boss. They took their entire company out. Basically, they just changed the DNS settings and their emails and the website and their entire company was out. Very dangerous. For the people that want to take extra measures and want to have great domain reputation, we created an extension for you. Now, don't think that I'm trying to sell you anything. Creating those extensions cost us tens of thousands of dollars. This is $19 a month. So well, I'm not making money on you. We create, created tons of applications and extensions to help you with your business. So this is me helping you. I'm not trying to make money on you. This is not, not the right way to make money. With this extension, it will scan your database all the time and it will make sure that the emails that you have in your database are actually good emails, that they're not going to bounce. Now, the ones that are going to bounce, you can fix them. Sometimes it will say leor at gmail.com, but instead of gmail.com, it will say gmail.com or some small mistake. You will know about those emails, you can fix them, and now your clients will receive the emails. Second of all, some people left their companies. They're no longer working there and you need to remove their emails because when you're sending emails and you will have more than 5% email bouncing, your domain reputation will go down because you look like a spammer and that's a problem. For the people that don't know how to find the email deliverability, you will click on the setup on the right top you will go to under channels, you will click on the email and on the top, you will click on the email deliverability. And this is where you will see the different domains. Now for the people that want to take extra measure and want to have fantastic deliverability, you will have also the email relay that if you will search my channel, you can see what I'm saying about the email relay. And that's a way for you to increase deliverability also for your authenticated domains. Bottom line, this is the time to fix your emails. Okay, you need to do it. We can help you. Other companies can help you. It's not that difficult to do. It's just a little bit of time consuming. This week, put it on your calendar and fix this problem once and for all. Mm.